Top of the hour, let's begin with a breaking update of a former Samajwadi Party Neta. The block chief Rakesh Gupta, his wife and his mother were allegedly shot dead by unidentified assailants inside in, uh, his residence in UP's Badayu. And that is now being reported from Uttar Pradesh as how a Samajwadi Party Neta, his family that included his wife and his mother, we are told who have been targeted and have been shot dead by unknown assailants. Shocker that's come to light from Uttar Pradesh. The SP leader, his wife and mother have been shot dead at the residence. Uh, this is likely to raise several questions on the lawlessness in Uttar Pradesh. A triple murder shocker that has come to light. There are no details yet on who the assailants are. Uh, the investigation into it is continuing. थाना उसाय अंतर्गत सत्रह गांव में आज सायंकालीन सूचना मिली कि एक मकान में उसके निवासी राकेश गुप्ता उनकी पत्नी और उनकी मदर तीनों लोग अलग अलग कमरों में इनकी डेड बॉडी पड़ी है सूचना पर मौके पर पुलिस पहुंची है और हम लोग पहुंच करके देखा तो प्रतीत होता है कि तीनों को गोली मारकर हत्या कर दी गई इनके परिजनों से वार्ता की गई है परिजनों का की शत्रुता स्थानीय एक दूषित परिवार से है इस संदर्भ में परिजनों ने अभी तहरीर नहीं दी है थाने पे जा रहे हैं वो तहरीर देंगे और इसमें जिन लोगों ने भी एक कृत्य किया है कठोर से कठोर कार्रवाई की जाएगी आमिर हमारे साथ जुड़ रहे हैं इस डिटेल्स बताइए जरा आमिर क्या हुआ इस घटना में एंड दी एस पी लीडर हुईन आइडेंटिफाइड हिज फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑल्सो इंक्लूडिंग हिज वाइफ एंड मदर हु बीन शॉर्टेड well amita the police uh, did confirm that uh, unknown assailants actually entered into uh, rakesh gupta's house somebody who is known to be a, a tall leader of uh, the samajwadi party in badayu and surrounding areas uh, he has he been earlier uh, the block chief and uh, was currently the zila panchayat member and was quite a popular leader in the area uh, now uh, it was around 6 pm last evening that unknown assailants uh, uh, who were carrying firearms entered into his house and shot dead uh, rakesh gupta his wife and mother uh, and then left from uh, the other exit uh, of the house uh, the police uh, prima facie says that the family uh, tells them that, that they've had a personal rivalry with a local family known as uh, the dikshit family and that family uh, it is uh, known actually supported the bjp so it seems that uh, political rivalry also may be the reason behind why uh, you know these this uh, triple murder has happened although the police as yet hasn't confirmed uh, that it is indeed uh, political rivalry which has led to this triple murder uh, the investigations have just started uh, post mortem report till late last evening the family had post not filed a written complaint uh, against the dikshit family as uh, was being quoted by the police earlier uh, so we are waiting for uh, more details to emerge uh, uh, into the entire story to perhaps uh, uh, you know lead to the police as to who actually the assailants could be Okay, all right, uh, Amir. The details that have been coming in are absolutely horrifying because the incident is said to have taken place somewhere around 6 p.m. and uh, you know the assailants are said to have come to the house and open indiscriminate firing. And uh, uh, there were several people around in the area as well, but could not stop them at all. So these are the shocking details that have now come to light in the case. Well, absolutely. It does seem that the entire operation was well planned. Uh, Sailors uh, have actually aided them uh, because it took just five minutes for the three guys to enter one uh, house, knew the exit on the other side of the house, and therefore uh, these three bodies were actually found. Right. In the meantime, let's also play out a reaction that is coming in uh, from the Samajwadi Party. Amit, please to. with us because uh, the reaction that is coming in as far as the brutal murder of the former sp block chief his wife and his mother that has been done in badayu what is being cited by the samajwadi party is due to political rivalry is a result of marginalized law and order situation in the states and strictest action should be taken against the killer so this is the appeal that they seem to be doing uh, with the uh, the ruling bjp government in the state uh, amir as far as this reaction that is coming in from the samajwadi party side well definitely amita this 
is uh, this is sure to snowball into a bigger controversy because samajwadi party uh, has been consistently taking up issues of uh, law and order uh, spiraling out of control of the yogi government uh, also uh, uh, rise in cases of uh, crime against women uh, and this definitely seems to be a classic case uh, something uh, that happened uh, during the earlier samajwadi prided government about over the last five and a half years or so uh, that uh, consistently uh, uh, you know uh, uh, law and order has kept under control uh, in the UK government and that okay. uh, uh, criminals are not let to uh, Okay, Amir, uh, we'll come back to you in just a bit. So these are the details coming in. A village head, his wife and mother shot dead allegedly over a political rivalry and this is in Badayu district. Uh, the leader has been identified as Samajwadi Party leader Rakesh Gupta. His wife and mother were also shot dead. The incident is said to have taken place around 6 p.m. The police officials are now investigating preliminary details suggesting that this is political rivalry that was uh, responsible for it. The Details are currently being collected by the police officials and uh, SP has already questioned the government in Uttar Pradesh saying this is a clear case of lawlessness, open indiscriminate firing by the assailants in the case. So what is being said that the gunman fled the spot after committing those three murders that have taken place, the police that arrived later and started with the investigation and after getting the information about the incident, the senior top leaders and also when it comes to the police officials, they rushed to the spot along with the forensics. Now what is being said as far as Gupta is concerned, he is said to be an influential Samajwadi party leader who was also the party's block chief earlier. Uh, Anurag Vidurya of the SP joining us over the phone line. Uh, thank you for joining us, Mr. Anurag. This is an absolute shocker that has come to light from Uttar Pradesh. Uh, the SP leader, his wife and mother being shot dead. I don't understand Uttar Pradesh ke Mukhmantri ji. And Uttar Pradesh ki sarkar bar bar ek aethi hai ke Uttar Pradesh mein law and order puri tarah se durust hai. Lekin yaha to jangal raat chal raha hai, gunda raat chal raha hai, koi kisi ghar mein ghus jayega, open firing karna shuru kar dega. बंदूकें लेके लोग चलने लगे हैं, जिसको मन आता है उसपे गोली से उसे उड़ा देते हैं, कभी तो ये लॉ एंड ऑर्डर कैसा है ये मैं जानना चाहता हूँ, और हर मंच पे तो मुख्यमंत्री जी यही कहते हैं कि हमने कानून व्यवस्था और यहाँ गुंडे उत्तर प्रदेश छोड़के चले गए, उत्तर प्रदेश में नहीं है, तो � ये लोगोलियों से भूनना मतलब हो गया जैसे डंडे से मारना हो गया आजकल तो उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर में जंगल राज गुंडा राज चल रहा है कोई किसी की सुनने वाला नहीं है पुलिस वालों को भी लोग दौड़ा दौड़ा के पीट देते हैं पुलिस वालों का भी इनकाउंटर हो रहा है तो गुंडे गुंडों का इतना मन बढ़ा हुआ है कि उनको रोकने वाला कोई नहीं है पूरी तरह से गुंडों को छूट दे दी गई है यहाँ कानून व्यवस्था नाम की कोई चीज बची नहीं है उसका अंतिम संस्कार हो चुका है जी अनुराग जी क्या ये कोई आपसी मतभेद का भी मामला हो सकता है क्योंकि अभी पुलिस तो जांच कर रही है लेकिन अभी तक ये पता नहीं कर पाए की अभी तक कौन घुस गया था घर में जिन्होंने इनडिस्क्रिमिनेट फायरिंग शुरू कर दी देखो इसमें सीधी सी बात यह है की उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर में चाहे कोई बात हो किसी को मारने के लिए जो हिम्मत आ रही है क्योंकि कानून व्यवस्था नाम की कोई चीज नहीं तभी तो हिम्मत आएगी ना अगर कोई किसी को ही मारे ये मारने की या बंदूक का असला चलाने की हिम्मत क्यों आ रही है पुलिस का खौफ नहीं है पुलिस का डर नहीं है तभी तो लोग मार रहे हैं ना इसका मतलब थोड़ी है अगर कोई बात होगी आपसी हो या आपसी नहीं हो गोली चलाना मतलब आपको पुलिस का खौफ नहीं है पुलिस का डर नहीं है प्रशासन का डर नहीं है क्योंकि पुलिस प्रशासन तो सिर्फ इस चीज में बिजी रहती है कैसे अपोजिशन वालों को खोजा जाए कैसे उनको तंग किया जाए उनकी जमीन जगह देखी जाए वो तो इस चीज में बिजी है वो लॉ एंड ऑर्डर बनाने में कहां व्यस्त है उनको लॉ एंड ऑर्डर पर ध्यान देना चाहिए लॉ एंड ऑर्डर को बनाए रखना चाहिए उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर में कानून व्यवस्था नाम की कोई चीज बची नहीं है खौफ नहीं है पुलिस का और जब पुलिस का खौफ नहीं होता है तो इस तरह की घटनाएं होती है जी All right. Uh, An Anurag Ji, as you are saying, the details are also coming that the incident took place at 6 p.m. and there were several people around as well. And as you are saying, it was not like that there was no fear because they fired. And uh, despite the fact that it was 6 p.m., there were people around as well. There was no fear at all. They shot them dead and then immediately fled from the spot. I am telling you, there is no fear. People are running around. 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 बच्चियों के साथ अन्याय होता है तो उसको पेड़ पे लटका देते हैं तो ये इतना समय लगता है ना अन्याय करना फिर पेड़ पे लटकाना 
ये असला लेके निकलना घर से फिर गोलियां चलाना गोलियों से भून देना उसके बाद फिर गोली चलाते हुए जाना तो इससे साफ जाहिर होता है ना कि उत्तर प्रदेश आप सीधे तौर पे लॉ एंड ऑर्डर के ऊपर आप सवाल उठा रहे पुलिस और प्रशासन के ऊपर सवाल उठा रहे कि अगर ऐसी घटना घट जाती है तो लोग कैसे अपने आप को सेफ मानेंगे उत्तर प्रदेश में धन्यवाद आपका अनुराग भदौरिया जी हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए विल गेट